Hello Twin Flame, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So first of all I want to say a big thank you to everyone who joined last night's live stream, we did an amazing reading, we got some powerful messages coming through about union and about the way the masculines really feel inside what you're going through as well, Divine Feminine, so it's definitely worth a watch. And during that live stream, we gave away three decks of my cards, the Divine Masculine Messages of Love. So a big shout out to the winners, Socorro, Xtina and Vanessa A. I've posted your cards out today, this morning, so it should be with you soon. So thank you to everyone who got involved and I'm going to be doing some more giveaways. I'm going to do a Halloween giveaway and I'm going to do a big Christmas giveaway as well. Because by then I will have made the feminine messages cards, the tarot cards and anything else they guide me to do. So yesterday then a really powerful reading, really powerful. The masculine's coming through saying to you, you belong to me, divine feminine. I'm marking my territory. I want you to know how I feel. And a lot of power coming into the connection. So today we're going to use the same cards. We're going to use the masculine and the feminine confessions. These are the amazing Bridget Row cards. We're going to use my masculine messages of love deck and Mystic Moon's twin flame messages. We're going to use, um, these are the soulmate cards. We're going to use the influence of the Angels Tarot. A big shout out to our soul brother, Mac, for this deck here. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I love this. And I also used this in last night's live stream as well. We're going to use the daily messages from the Angels, the Green Witch Tarot. And later, I'm going to do a steamy, sexy reading. I'm going to do a pick a pile about what your masculine is fantasizing about you. So keep your eyes out for that as well. And I am going to be live today at 12pm UK time doing the members weekly Q&A. So if you want access to that, all the details will be in the description below. Let's do this then. Okay. So first of all, I'm just going to move these out of the way and I'm going to shuffle the cards. So thank you, angels. Let's move these out of the way a second. What do we need to know, please, for the divine feminine? Wow. But that's that one as well, and that one. Okay, I'm taking out what's jumping for the feminines here. What do we need to know for the divine masculines? And what do we need to know for this amazing journey? Powerful last night in the live stream because the outcome cards were the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups, which is about union and divine love. So beautiful, so powerful, showing us what's real here. What do we need to know for the feminines today, please, angels? Thank you. What do we need to know for the masculines? And what do we need to know for this amazing journey? Because every day I'm shuffling. Let's do this. What do the masculines want to say to the feminines? What do the feminines want to say to the masculines? On the floor, here we go. Wow. And what do we need to know about the journey from this deck as well? There we go. So what do we need to know for the feminines? Wow, well, they're jumping all over the place again today. A lot of power coming out here for the masculines and for this amazing journey. What do we need to know? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to put these together and then I'm going to start with a message from the masculine. So I'm excited. Let's do this. So we're going to go straight to the Divine Masculine Confessions deck here. Masculines, what do you want to say to the feminine today? Here we go. Wow, I have too much passion building up for you. I'm going to explode, okay? And this card came out yesterday. I have so much passion building up for you. I'm going to explode. So this, again, is the Kundalini energy. You know, the fire between the two of you, the passion. And your masculine's really showing that to you today. I'm going to explode. I've got so much emotion within me. And during last night's live stream, the reading we did, the masculines were expressing to you how much they want you, how much they desire you, and that they do get mad at this connection, that they want to be with you, they want to share their life with you. And it drives them crazy at times. So all this emotion builds up within them and they feel like they're going to explode. So your masculine's on fire for you today. And I really feel, you know, a lot of sexual chemistry energy. And that's why I want to do a steamy reading. So what do you want to say back to that divine feminine? Here we go. Wow, I only want to please you. 
So you're saying to your masculine, well, I just want to please you. I want to pleasure you. I want to be with you. And pleasing the masculine, that doesn't mean that you're being, you know, submissive or, you know, you're saying to your masculine, oh, you can get away with anything. That isn't what this card is saying. This is you saying, you know, you you want you're going to explode everywhere. Well, I want to please you. I want to pleasure you. So there's a lot of mutual sexual chemistry between the two of you today, and you're both acknowledging that together. And we've got the clock there as well, and we've got the camera. So the masculines are showing you the thinking of the memories. They're going over the past. And they're thinking about the timing of things, you know, how you came into their life at the right time. You know, they may have run from you, but it was the right time to wake them up, to help them understand who they are as a person, to wake up from their karmic world. So they are acknowledging that to you and also letting you know that time isn't running out. You know, you've got all the time in the world and the pen's there to show you communication. So this is what they are communicating to you today, that they are ready to explode because they have so much passion within them and it's all building up. And that passion is for you. And for you, we've got, you know, the cogs are ticking, you've got the watch there. So I feel this is you, Divine Feminine, letting go of the timing of everything because that's part of your journey. You know, when will we be together? When will union happen? When will you contact me? Because that's a watch there and you've taken the back off it. So it's like you've given it to heaven. You're trusting in divine timing. So you're breathing more now and trusting this journey. And it's powerful. I'm just seeing what, yeah, it says, seeing what this says here, okay, on here. It says France, that may be a sign to someone as well. But I feel this is this little word here. I think that, you know, this is just something that's been created on the card. But they're, they're guiding me to it. And they're giving me the word forgiveness. So it feels like there's a lot of forgiving going on right now. Forgiving and releasing. And a lot of sexual energy coming in because of that. So I feel you meeting up on the 5D. And there's a lot of chemistry. Maybe some of you are meeting in the 3D. And it's becoming heated. So there's a lot of sexual energy flowing in. So what masculine messages of love have they got for you? Wow, okay. Okay, so a lot of fun. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Our passion is real. That's the one standing out here. I have to release the past. You know, the firework effect here. Wow, I know we are twin flames. I love you. Our love will conquer all. I was silly to let you go and I will never let you go. They are the ones jumping out. So obviously when the decks jump around like this, there's a lot of passion and a lot of fire going on. You know, it's like, woo, they just want to show you how they feel. And they're saying all of this to you today. I was silly to let you go and I will never let you go. So they know what they've done and now they're doing something about it. Our love will conquer all because I love you. So they're showing you the truth here. I know we are twin flames. They're understanding this on a deeper level. It's the firework effect, the passion, because the passion is real, but they have to release the past. So this is where they currently are in this energy. You know, they're saying to you, well, I'm ready to explode. I need to release it all. I need to sort it out. So what do they want to say to you through the twin flame messages then? Here we go. Wow. I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. So they're understanding a lot right now, Divine Feminine. The masculines are understanding that their actions have consequences. They're thinking about the past, the way things happened, the way it all took place. And it's all building within them. And it's building up. So they're ready to explode. And that means sexually, but it also means that their emotions need to come out. They need to speak the truth. They need to tell you how they feel. They need to communicate these feelings. So masculines then, well, we've got the eight of cups and that's about karmic endings, releasing and moving on. So the masculines are saying to you, you know, I have to release the past. But it's happening for a reason. You know, they're showing you this for a reason. I have to release it. I have to let go. To be with you, I have to let go. And they're showing you, you know, we've got the wise wizard there. So they're becoming wise on this journey. And the little cupid's right by their side guiding them on, reminding them of you, showing them that this castle is in the distance. 
So this is where they're walking away from. And it's also where they're walking to. Because they've now got a vision of you in their mind and what they want. And yesterday it was so powerful. You know, we got the promise of union card coming out. Or the union card. And then we had the masculine saying to you, I want, I want a family with you. That was it. We had the ten of cups coming out. And we had the masculine saying, I want a family with you. So it's about building this family unit. It's about building union. And remember, family unit isn't about kids. And, you know, it can be about building whatever you're building. It could be fur babies. You know, you could have um, animals together. You know, you could be uniting families. There's so many things that that car can mean. So trust that you're building a future. We've got the seven of cups. So this is the decisions the masculines are facing. The decisions. And if you're having toothache, tooth pain, you may be even be having bleeding gums. It's connected with the decisions the masculines are making connected with you. That's why I'm so croaky. Because... You know, they, they need to speak the truth. It's raw right now. And they're making these choices from their heart in their head. So they've been moving from logic into love, from mind into emotion. But they have to think about things they want to achieve. So they're thinking about all the things that are going around in the mind. You know, look what he's doing. He's kind of looking up. So he's looking up to the light. He's looking to heaven for the answers. He's being shown the way. And he's leaving behind toxic things like alcohol and addictions. We've got life purpose coming in for the masculines. And we've got a wizard there again, wisdom. So I do feel Archangel Raziel, the psychic angel, who's like the Merlin of heaven, surrounding your masculine right now, giving them purpose, showing them what their life's all about, leading them forward. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Well, right now, the masculines don't seem to be serving themselves with joy. You know, maybe some of them are, okay, if they're close to union, you know, whereas they are facing things and they are making things happen. Maybe your masculine's a healer or, you know, doing something spiritually based. But they're all finding the way, they're finding their feet. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. So the masculines are realizing they're being guided where they need to go. You know, they're realizing, oh, there's a bigger picture here. Something else is going on. So your masculine is saying to you, feminine, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances that you currently find yourself in. So your masculine's higher self is saying to you, you know, close your eyes, feel me. I'm there and I'm understanding who I am. So your masculine is showing you that they are starting to realize that they are finding joy within what they're doing, no matter what the outer circumstances. They're starting to see the truth, to understand, to realize the heart connection between the two of you. So they're starting to live now with purpose, which means they're making choices and decisions to be with you. So they are changing their life. That's why so many masculines right now are walking away from their karmic situations, which can be people, places, addictions, family situations, something they're going through, something that's kind of holding them back from their sole purpose, who they truly are and truly aspire to be. So this is showing you they are finding joy in their circumstances because they're learning and growing. And their higher self is communicating this to you and saying to you, find joy in your life, no matter what the outer circumstances. So no matter what's going on in the world, no matter what's going on within the connection, find the joy, find the bliss, find the happiness, know that you are safe. And the masculines are starting to rise up and make decisions. So again, we've got decisions here, working things out, seeking answers, looking for the way. And the masculines are turning to the truth now. You know, we've got the energy there, the full moon. We've got the owl there for wisdom. You know, the masculines have kind of got this book of knowledge here. So they're finding their way. There's a lot of spiritual transformation going on for them right now. And we've got the three of chalices, which is about coming together. Celebrations, reunion. So another sign that communication is coming in. That you're moving towards each other. That they're being 
guided towards this community. So they're finding their way, they're finding their feet and the eagle there is showing you that dreams are being manifested, things are being created, things are falling into place. So I'm actually feeling this as the Divine Feminine Collective working together to bring in peace and harmony and sending love to the masculines, finally letting go, releasing, breathing in the air so that you can be together. You know, there you are reunited together again. So this is about communication coming in, you know, coming together, reunion. The masculines are holding the lantern there. Oh, it looks like a cage, okay? So they're showing me two things. They're showing it me like a lantern. So they're finding the way from the darkness to the light. And they've got the cage in the hand, which means anything they're trapped in, they're going to free themselves from. So that can be their karmic situations. Okay? It's showing you here the feminine guiding the masculine forward guiding each other and that doesn't mean that you ring them up and you say this is what you need to do it means you work on you divine feminine you shine your light brightly and that leads your masculine forward to you so they release anything that's that's caging them anything that needs to go because they're moving towards you there nigh to once look the finding direction and this is all coming in now in this energy of august time august time through to October, November. And this can also show you here that the masculines aren't always male. You know, the female too. So, you know, if your masculine's a man or a woman, they're coming towards you. They're on the horse, they're finding the way, they're finding direction. And the beautiful bird of prey is showing you they're moving towards freedom. So every day they're getting closer, leaving things behind here, making choices from the heart being guided from above about their purpose. So a lot of power coming in here. So feminines, wow, we've got the four of cups for you. So this is about you really connecting on the 5D realm. You know, in this card, it can be about, you know, kind of feeling a bit sad, you know, a bit lost, alone, missing your twin, missing the connection, you know, desiring them, wanting them, feeling them. And one of these cards is moving at the bottom of the deck here, I want to run my hands all over your soft skin and through your hair. You know, this is moving. So this is your masculine saying to you, you know, I want to touch you, hold you. So when you feel sad, when you feel lonely, when you're missing your twin, remember what your masculine is saying to you. I want to run my hands all over you, all over your soft skin and through your hair. So your masculine wants to comfort you. When you're feeling sad and lonely, and you're missing them, and you feel pain, your masculine is right by your side, saying to you, I want to hold you, I want to touch your skin, I want to run my fingers through your hair, and let you know that I care, so your masculine is with you, so if you've ever had that where, you know, you're feeling a bit sad or lost, and you feel something brush your hair, or you feel something go over your skin, or a breeze, or this is your masculine's energy connecting with you, asking you to keep the faith, to trust them, to trust the journey, and to connect on the 5D. You know, this is also showing you that sometimes, Divine Feminine, you get offers. You know, you get offers from other people, but you don't care. You want your twin. You know, this is showing you that you are desirable. You are lovable. You are unique. You know, you could go out and get anyone you want, but you want your twin. And you're acknowledging this here. So your masculine saying to you, it's okay. I feel you. You know, I desire you. I understand what you're going through. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles is about security. And you want your masculine to be with you in a commitment to be able to give you security. You don't want to wish you washy love. You don't want breadcrumbs. You don't want them coming in and out of your life. You want a secure life with them. And this is what you're working towards. And this is why separation happens because separations is where the healing occurs. It's where the masculines grow up. It's where feminines you trust and let go and understand that you are good enough and that you deserve the world. And it's where Thank you for giving me fear there. It's where the fears are released. Fears of, are they going to be with you? 
you know, are they going to come towards you? Will they be able to offer you this commitment, this security? Well, it's all flowing in now. So the angels are showing you this is what you want. Why shouldn't you have that? Why? You know, if somebody says to you it's not possible, why isn't it possible? Of course it is. You can have what you desire, but you have to trust. So right now, your masculine is gaining focus, is gaining strength, wisdom, understanding. And this is also what you're doing, Divine Feminine. You're getting your house in order. You're getting things straight. You're planning. There's a lot of planning and plotting going on within the connection. The Ace of Wands is all about action and forward motion, making things happen, change, direction, you know, the barometer of truth. The Four of Wands is what you're creating and this keeps coming out. You know, this is the foundation that's being built right now, the foundation of love to make your dreams come true. So focus on self. The Nine of Pentacles, Divine Feminine, that's you and your power, focusing on self. Tapping into your true self, your psychic powers, your wisdom, knowing who you are and starting to listen to the truth. So you're listening now. Your ear chakras are woke. You know, you know, you're listening, you're hearing messages, signs and music, things you're overhearing, things are resonating with you, maybe in this reading or things that you're overhearing in a conversation. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to the gentle reassurance that everything is being taken care of. Everything is going to be okay. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears as quickly and clearly. This is our request to you to listen. So when you quiet your mind, you hear quickly and you understand more and more. So the angels are saying to you, everything you want is manifesting. You just have to give it time because look at this. We've got sacred union and this is what it is, a sacred union. Honour and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So you're saying this to yourself and the angels are showing it to you and you're saying this to your divine masculine. Our union is sacred. Our relationship is sacred and I'm nurturing this now and I'm transforming. It's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. And they showed me in the, this deck earlier, it be interesting to see if it does come out, but the Four of Pentacles. So let me grab the deck, okay? The Four of Pentacles in this deck, okay? It might already be here. Let me see if I can find it. If not, I'll find it and I'll show you guys tomorrow or on the Q&A. But the four of pentacles in this deck is, you know, kind of a lady and she's going on with things. She's letting go. And at the door, there's a man pressed up against the door, looking through the door. So this is a huge sign that when you let go and you do you and you take a step back and you remove the focus from yourself, your masculine comes towards you. Everything flows in and it moves into freedom. And there's a new beginning coming in. A new adventure awaits, embrace it and live your dreams passionately. How beautiful is that? So a new beginning is coming in and we've got freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. This is about protection, surrender, letting go, giving it to heaven. So divine feminine, this is showing you what's coming in. And we've got the eight of athames. You are not trapped, it's fear. Okay, if you're trapped in fear, release it. It's only in your mind. This is the restrictions. Maybe you're in lockdown. Maybe there's other crazy things going on in the world right now. But you are safe and you're building a new beginning. You're building a future. You're building something magical. So release the past. Let go. Let go of any challenges and understand that you are safe and that you are loved and that you are never alone. So if you're feeling alone, it's because you're healing, you're transforming, you're preparing for what's to come. Yeah, there it is. I've got angel bumps, the four of pentacles. Why do they ever doubt it? The angels are saying, Liz, did you ever doubt that the card would be there? Why did you pick the deck up and try and find the card when there it is for the divine feminine? When you let go... The, the masculines appear, there it is, 
Okay, this card was at the back of the deck before I started doing the shuffle, okay? And there it is. When you let go and focus on you, before you know it, there's going to be a knock on the door. And last night during the live stream, there was a knock on the door. So this is showing you what's flowing in. Angel bumps. Thank you, angels. So this is showing you, you know, even I doubt things at times, but we have to have faith and we have to trust the journey. Six of Wands. This is about victory coming in. Have confidence in this journey. Victory is coming. Oh my goodness, I've got angel books. Look at this. Ace of Cups and Two of Cups. The same cards that came out last night with the Six of Wands here, which signifies victory. The completion of a chapter. Promotion. Moving forward to union, to love. This is the divine love and the union. I've got angel bumps because this is exactly what came through yesterday. So the angels are showing you what's coming in for the journey. Play with the journey. Enjoy it. Go by the ocean. Connect with the water and be assertive, divine feminines. Stand strong. Your masculine is communicating with you through music right now. Be yourself. Have fun. Tune into who you are. Play with this journey. Enjoy it. Embrace each moment. Run some water. Have a sea salt bath. You know, have a shower and feel the energy water flowing over you. And that will help you to stand your ground. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Got angel bumps and you've got the ocean here. So remember, this journey is as deep as the ocean. It's as deep as the ocean. The love is, it's endless. It's endless. It's deep and powerful and strong. The deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. Your love is as deep as the ocean. So wash away all your cares and concerns. Your masculine is moving towards you with love being able to take care of you. They want to take care of you and be able to stand on their feet. They're becoming the stag. Wow, the hangman or the horned god there. But look at this, okay? This is like the emperor, okay? They're saying the hangman because the masculines are changing their mind, their perception. They're understanding from a different perspective now and they're growing into this stag. So you've got the stag energy, the power. And the thing I love the most about this card is, you know, it's not a stag there, it's the emperor as a stag. So that's your masculine showing you the transforming, the nearly there, the nearly done. There's just a little bit more work to be done here. We've got the Holy King, wisdom, knowledge going within, finding the answers. And last night in the live, this card came out to go within and work it all out to understand so the feminines are realizing the truth about who they are so you're going within now working on your psychic self being assertive and the masculines are moving into their emotion and they're becoming satisfied with who they are satisfied with what they want they're learning to be satisfied instead of just putting up with things and we've got the ten of athames releasing but this is about resurrection energy and new beginnings completion a new cycle resurrecting the past healing you know things happening here for a reason so everything is falling into place and i just love that these cards have come out you couldn't get more powerful cards coming out here for the journey or with the ocean card you know your masculine saying to you look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean and there's the card so the angels are saying play Beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. And the work can be that you see this as hard work, this journey. So just play with the journey, enjoy the journey. You know, take a break from the stress. Don't worry, we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. So the angels are taking care of all the details. Playfulness and laughter will lift your energy so that you return with a new perspective and heightened energy. So the angels are saying to you, stop working so hard to make it all happen. Instead, have some fun, laugh about it, 
Take a step back and allow the angels to take control and they will help it all to fall into place. They will take care of your needs and they'll sort it out so that it comes to you in time because it's all about divine love and this is victory. It's flowing in. You will have what you want, but you have to trust. I hope this helps. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon. Oh, and I'm live today, 12 p.m. UK time for members. See you soon.